Dr. Michu Kak, who is a theorist, physicist, futurist, and author of the best-selling book, The God Equation, The Quest for a Theory of Everything. Michu, thanks so much for joining us. Is this a good idea? I think it's a horrible idea. The fundamental mistake is they assume that the aliens are like E.T., yeah. warm and Fun. cuddly and friendly, but they could be like the Borg out to, to rampage over our sector of the galaxy. We can't assume the best case scenario in this situation. Uh, take a look at the, the movie War of the Worlds, right? It wasn't that the Martians hated Earthlings. No, we were just in the way. They wanted the Earth, and they had the technology to run over us. So we have to be careful. Now, remember, look at our own history. Look at Mexico. When Cortez, the conquistador, went into Mexico, he met Montezuma and the Aztecs. Cortez made the biggest mistake in ancient history. I mean, Montezuma made the biggest mistake. He assumed that Cortez was a god, when actually Cortez was a bloodthirsty pirate. And within months, the entire Aztec empire crumbled. Why? Because Cortez had the horse. He had gunpowder. He had steel weapons. The Aztecs had none of the above. So they, they might have something we don't know, and we told them everything about us. What, what kind of uh, vehicle did we use to, trend, to transmit our information? Well, 50 years ago, I mean, 52 years ago, 1974, that's what this event wants to commemorate. Back then, Carl Sagan and others used the Arecibo radio telescope to beam, to beam a message in our quadrant of the galaxy saying, here we are, we have come of age, okay? In retrospect, I think that was a dumb idea, playing Russian roulette with a loaded gun, not knowing who's out there, what their intentions are, I think it was really foolhardy. But doesn't the curiosity in you want to know if there's anything out there? You told me you, you're convinced there's something out there. Yes, and I think we should be very careful and simply listen. Duck and listen. That's what I think we should do. Rather than reaching out without knowing who's out there, what their intentions are, I think that's really foolhardy to assume that all the aliens are like E.T., I just hope that we sent the naked body of, like, The Rock so they would think, I'm not going to mess with that country. They're in really good shape. Either that or else they say, well, lunch. <laughs> I know, that would be trouble. <laughs> Michio, I'm surprised at this. I thought you were going to be intrigued, but you say bad idea. Bad idea. Congratulations bad idea. on the success of your book.